Hi, my name is Maria Eduarda and I will present the work entitled Population Structure and Relative Growth of the Bureau and Shrimp Neo Caliquiris Mari, Caraçao 2004, on a sand beach of the northeastern coast of Brazil. Growing shrimps are the couple of crustaceans that belong to the infraorders as Gebidae and Axidae. Commonly known as ghost shrimps and mud lobsters, these animals have fossorial habit and their bioturbation causes changes on the biogeochemical features of sediment. So they are recognized as ecosystem engineers. Since in their living in the benthos, they can influence all the community structure around the galleries. Neocalichidus marie is an axidian that have distribution along the tropical and subtropical Atlantic Occidental Ocean and commonly constructs galleries with a volcano shape. Also showing a huge potential as bioturbator, there are few research focus on the population biology of this species. So, the aim of this study is giving the first information about the population structure and relative growth of Neocalichidus marie on a sand beach of the northeastern coast of Brazil. The collects were made at the Mangiseco Beach, Garasu, Pernambuco, always in the low tide, from September 2018 to November 2019. Animals were collected with a helpful Fayabi pump. In the field, each animal was individually conditioned in plastic pots containing 4% saline formaldehyde. In laboratory, each specimen was rinsed, Sexed, um, following uh, features of the first pair of play outputs, and measured with a, di with a digital caliper, following before's morphometric standards about the major caliper length, the carapace length, and the total length. The zolomatic expression was applied to determine the type of growth, uh, which could be negative zolomatic growth, zolomatic growth or positive allomatic growth. The CL was used as independent variable for all the regression analyses. 441 animals were collected, where 178 was males and 263 was females, which 32 was the visuals. Females achieved the biggest size of the total length and the carapace length. And the males achieved the biggest size of the major clip length. For the relative growth, the relation CL and TL between added show, show it is a medical growth for both sexes. And between juveniles, males show it negative allomatic growth and females positive allomatic growth. For the relation CL and MCL um, between adults, both sexes show a positive allomatic growth, and between juveniles, males show a zomatic growth, and females show a positive allomatic growth. More females collected can be their reproduction behaviors, as um, ovigerous, females go to the upper to eggs ventilation. And the males reaching bigger size of the carapace length and total length than males is a common standard between axiidians, and this can be the physiologic and behavior characteristics. Positive allomatic growth of the major calipid lengths for females is uncommon in axiidians, and positive allomatic growth of the uh, major calipid length for males is a common standard between males axiidians. So, Females were more collected than males and reached bigger size of carapace length and total length, while males reached bigger size um, of major calipid. Uncommon results were obtained for the type of proof of major calipid of females for Neocalicus mari. This study provided the first information about the population biology of this species. Thank you.